Ever since I have been familiar with it, clay has fascinated me. It is a living creature, and I am its caregiver, raising it through each stage of its life until it is complete and encased in its coat of glossy skin. Working with clay fulfills my desire to create. As I mold and carve the clay, I invest my thoughts about every bit of it, its form, its surface, and its meaning. I make choices that fulfill my need to be a part of this storytelling world. What I create radiates a sense of what I believe. Those who have gone before me have experimented with materials, and as a result, we have foundational techniques. The right way to create, you could say. I have been taught these techniques in the hopes that I might use them in their original state skillfully, or manipulate them to fit something new, or even discover my own way of creation. No matter which path I choose, even if I choose to ignore them altogether, I am still affected by their existence. Every artist is faced with these challenges of transformational struggle. As a student, you may not see yourself as an artist. Maybe you haven't made enough art yet to consider yourself an artist. Maybe the art room may be unfamiliar to you. Possibly you feel vulnerable because you lack the inspiration to create art. Could it be that you have a few ideas, but you are unsure of where to begin? Are the burdens of other struggles weighing on your mind? Are you afraid of failure? To feel this way is okay. We will accept our fears and our faults in order to move forward and grow as artists and as human beings. The motivation to do so will come from our peers and we will discover what drives us as we question as we research, as we create, and as we reflect. In our classroom, we will live in a shared space and we will thrive with an understanding that when we value our creations and the creations of others, we can not only sustain the ties we have with our peers, but grow as a united art community. Not only will you investigate with a team of innovators, you will have plenty of time to work independently. You will get to test every possibility that a material possesses and discover what it is like to have an inspiration and how to encourage new inspiration when it is needed. As you sample many mediums, you will begin to focus on a couple in which you build some strong skills. As you become a stronger artist, you will begin to question your art, whether the material or the idea is more important. In your examination, you will also take on the audience's view, wondering what other people see in your art. As you question, you will turn to others for advice. You will learn how to debate with others without winning, how to give criticism, and also how to receive it. As a result, your capacity for patience will most likely increase. My job as your future art educator is to provide. I will give you the tools you need in order to understand how to begin creating. I will work side by side with you so that together we can figure out what you need. Your artistic foundation will be formed in the understanding of solid technical skills and the surrounding art world. These will be your roots from which you can raise branches. 
grow, reach out, and make the spaces of the sky your own. As you flourish, so will your understanding of yourself and your understanding of those around you. You are always shaping the social creature that you are.